Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play. Today I'm taking a look at the newest um, in-box single player, or sorry, two player starter set from Games Workshop, which is Aeronautica Imperialis Wings of Vengeance, the game of aerial combat in the 41st millennium. Um, so this is a two player starter set that contains forces for the Orcs and the Imperium. Uh, you get nine miniatures, eight dice, a bunch of punch-out tokens, a 30 page rule book, nice little soft cover, 37 page rule book, Outlining the rules of the game, um, some quick reference sheets, and a little like map slash postery deal uh, to show you what is what. And the instructions for building the miniatures are also included. Um, and a poster sized 3x3 mat divided up into two inch hexes that is actually your area of engagement that you fly around on. It is double sided, giving you both a cityscape and a ruined sort of like factory complex in a desert <laughs> to play your games on. Um, and you have a single mission in the box called Dogfight to try it out. Now this is backed up by a bunch of sort of like ancillary releases that are up from the build prepared at the same time. Um, there's some weapon emplacements, uh, the actual cards for all the planes, which are not included in the box, um, as well as upgrades and um, like aces and fighter pallets and stuff as well. So uh, this is a fairly trim single uh, two-player starter set. Uh, and there's a bunch of ancillary sort of like add-ons to the game that aren't included in this box. But uh, if you go to the Games Workshop website, you can check out the um, sort of the, the, the 411 on uh, on their actual web store. So let's take a look at what comes in the box and we're gonna throw on our first game. So here it is, uh, Wings of Vengeance, the uh, two-player star set for Aeronautica Imperialis. Now here's what you get in the box. You get your three by three poster mat, uh, which as I said is double-sided for a little deserty side on as well. It's fairly matte, fairly flat when we unwrinkled it and um, laid it down. It looks okay on camera, but uh, there is talk of releasing four by four mats as well. Hopefully in neoprene, um, and that's gonna mean that uh, yeah, it'll just look nicer and they'll be able to add new areas of operation and engagement um, to the game later on. You get nine miniatures, you're gonna get two Marauder Bombers um, and two uh, Thunderbolt Fighters. I built mine as Furies, because it's just cool to have bolt cannons on your Thunderbolts, because <laughs> they look awesome. And then pan them up as the Fantine Air Corps, the uh, Mary Sue Guard Regiment that also has its own air wing, because um, they're not supposed to, but then Dan Abnett wrote a book about it. and. And they're just the best. <laughs> they have like troops that land in landers and are just super good. Um, for painting tips on these, I'll do another paint recipe on my um, Instagram. But it's basically some some real simple uh, rattle can priming, dry brushing, uh, washing, some mix of contrast paints and decals and stuff to get them done. And then over here we have the Wa. It's the um, Bad Moons. They're all in yellow. Uh, and they are uh, two fighter bombers and three deca jets, all armed with guns and missiles and bombs and whatever. When you build these, I wouldn't worry so much about what they're visually built with uh, because there are cards that don't come in this box that you can buy to actually keep track of your gear. So you don't have to worry too much about it and you and your opponent can see what they have. And there's, the details are so little anyway, <laughs> just make them visually pleasing. Um, these are about 33% bigger than the old ones. Um, the old ones were in six mil, these ones are in eight mil uh, and the bases are universal. I did paint mine to make them look sort of like bronzy and cool uh, just by masking all of the, the dials with some um, poster tack. Uh, and they do the exact same uh, sort of like tracking. You have your speed, oops, tip it down here. So you have your speed and your elevation. But the one thing for those who played Aeronautica previously that um, I will mention that makes these different, while your speed can go to uh, nine as, like, as in the previous edition, your altitude can only go to four. They have basically crushed the ceiling down from way, way high, <laughs> where you go in the atmosphere, to four levels, which is good. Because it makes the area of engagement um, way like cleaner. Basically, there's, there's there's only gonna be ever one band that you can sit in where you can't be hunted down, and it makes getting back up to uh, like an engagement band way easier too. Um, so if you want to use your previous ones, you still can. They, they'll track all the same stuff, uh, and you could very easily because you're playing on a hex map anyway. The scale doesn't really matter. You could absolutely use your old planes to try out the game. So uh, these planes are obviously in a bigger scale than the, the new Titanic scale, which is eight mil. But you can absolutely use the old ones if you wanted to try it out. They'll be compatible. You get a cool poster with all your planes, and then the cover again for those that like posters. You get two quick reference sheets. Um, the whole, like literally the whole game, on one sheet, and then all the maneuvers. There are no maneuver cards anymore. Don't lose this sheet because this is not printed in the rule book or anywhere else. If you lose these sheets, you're scuppered because you won't know what your maneuvers are. Um, and these are the eight movement diagrams available in the game. So while these are, I would highly recommend getting these laminated uh, and photocopying some maybe because you don't want to lose them. These are very important. 
<laughs> uh, and these are the eight maneuvers you can do in the game. So. Um, you also get eight dice, these little white GW dice. Uh, lots of your ace maneuver trackers, which are all just numbered, but then blank on the other side, so you can't see what they are when you double down. Your tailing marker, your stall marker, your spin marker. Stall and spin are basically if you go like too fast, or you break up, or you go above your speed, or whatever, you can, bad things can happen. Uh, sorry, if you go below your your required speed, your minimum speed, you can stall. Uh, and if you don't recover from the stall, you'll start to spin out and you'll lose altitude until you crash. And then damage markers that flip for being more. So you get ones and twos, uh, threes and fours, and that's basically it. Those are all your components. Some of your forces, you get roughly 100 points. Now the game is played between 25 and 250 in the scenario we're provided with here, which is dogfight. Um, and you've got just enough to not feel totally cramped on this map. They recommend that like two planes is what you want to play on this size. We're going to play the whole starter side because because YOLO <laughs> and um, uh, you're basically going to build a squadron uh, out of whatever your faction is so in this case you're going to pick uh, Imperial Navy and my Thunderbolts are 21 points for a regular one 23 for a Fury which is what I've built here and Marauders are 23 points as well and then on top of that you can buy extra gear so with 92 points spent on my four planes here before I buy gear I'm going to buy them some extra, extra stuff now traditionally in the old game these guys had armored cockpits so I'm going to buy those for three points. It gives them a six plus damage shrug every time they get damaged um, and means that I can basically potentially, it's the only kind of save you get in this game. And that leaves me with two points left uh, and I'm going to buy an ejector seat for the um, boss Marauder here with the little skulls in the wings and that means that on a five plus when it's destroyed or if it's destroyed I only give up 75% of my point values instead of 100 because my crew escape. Now for the orc side here we got DACA jets which are 16 each and then a fight a bomber, which is a grand total of 20 points. Uh, and of course, there's five of these little fellas. So 32 plus 40 is going to be, no, sorry, 32, 48 plus 40 is going to be 88 points. So 12 points left to spend on stuff. Uh, and that means four custom big shooters are getting purchased here, which changes their quad big shooters from an 840 to a 10-6-0 for damage, but it takes up one of the spaces of their extra guns. As we're not playing like a bombing run or any kind of like special missions, only one mission in this book, uh, buying them extra big shooters just makes sense. Uh, and that means that the one that's modeled with it is gonna have it for the, the big fighter bombers. And then all the DACA jets are getting super, super brawler guns. If they get close to me, they're just going to explode dice all over me. The gameplay is pretty similar to the previous edition, including setting up a game. So uh, unfortunately, there is only the stats of the, the stuff in the rule book. Um, and so what we do is we just went and took pictures on our phones to play the game, because we don't have any ancillary like gubbins to play. Um, so we do a lot of flipping back and forth otherwise. But when you play a mission, it'll give you all your setup rules. So in this one, we're gonna dice off, and we're gonna each start placing planes within three of any edge of the area of engagement. So you pick your area of engagement, and then you pick up to between 25 and um, 250 points for the planes for a dogfight, and then we just dice off. And you can place them anywhere within three of any side, because the idea is we're just like mixing it up. We're having a big dogfight. Now there's a fuel limit in every game, no game can go more than 12 turns. Uh, and this one also has a disengagement limit. If you go below 25% of your total planes, sorry, 25% or less of your total number of planes you started with, then you automatically have a disengagement turn, which is you play one more turn after the turn that happens, and then the game ends and you score VPs. Now VPs are scored 100% of my point value if I'm destroyed, 50% um, if I'm damaged and still on the table. And then if I disengage voluntarily during the disengagement turn, I'm worth less. Uh, my ejector seats can affect it too. And that'll be it. Got some extra dice just to make this easier. Oh, and I'm gonna dice off. And he wins, so you get to place the first plane and we back after we place them all. Now when you place your planes, you also set your altitude and speed to anything you can legally have. So these fellas have a um, altitude of one to four and a max speed of five, min speed of two. Uh, these guys are min speed two, max speed six or seven, I believe. Uh, six, sorry. Yeah, two, six. And a ma max altitude of five again, but if you're at five, you might stall out. Um, four is the only one you don't make a stall test. Five is like the atmosphere, basically. And then you have a throttle, which we'll talk about when we start playing the game. We're deployed. Um, I have a Thunderbolt. This is the wing, the wing commander. Uh, he's going speed four with altitude three. We have my banking th uh, a marauder here. Uh, he is speed two, elevation two, speed two, elevation two for my other marauder, and then speed four, elevation three for my Thunderbolt. And then across from us, two fighter bombers. Seven three, seven three. <laughs> Coming to the sky eight, hot. Three eight three. Oh eight, my god. Three. So um, these little guys, what's funny about the orc planes is they're basically just rockets with stabilizers. Like they're not actually any avionics and they have like a minimum speed of what? 
four. Four? And then, uh, no, it's, I think it's five, eight, and four, seven. It's like something silly. Like the, the, the little ones have to go like super fast. We're never gonna slow down though, so. Uh, they're four, eight, yeah, four, eight, yeah. and three, seven for the other ones. Uh, they have a throttle of two, which means they can change speed up or down by two. These guys, I think, are one. Yep. And then my Marauders are one uh, with a minimum speed of two and a maximum speed of five. And I minimum speed two, maximum speed six, and throttle two on the Thunderbolts. So we've set up now. Um, we're going to roll, sorry, we're going to place our ace maneuvers. So everyone has a maneuver value. So I can do ace maneuvers one to three on the big flying barns that are my Marauders, and one to five on these guys. I believe you're one to four. And then one to And then five. one to five, that's right. So um, of all the maneuvers we can do, None of us can do six, seven, and eight. <laughs> uh, although, the, yes. Oh, no, I actually might be able to do six. I think I can do six. Maybe I can only do five. Uh, the Fury can do one to six. I can do six. So I can do the stoop, the stall turn, the snap turn, uh, and then uh, the, the Marauders can also do the turn, the swoop, and the level flight. You can do one through five. And then one through four on the other guys. So your little guys can do a stall turn down, and then your fighter bombers can do a snap turn down. Ace maneuvers are all placed down, face down, uh, and then we roll for initiative and do tailing fire. So no, you are going to have the initiative, which means you move the first one during the movement phase, and you also fire tailing fire first. Now tailing fire is if you manage to get, I'm just going to pick this guy up because you know where he is. If you manage to get a plane, and you are in its rear arc, which is its rear 60 degrees, and also, it's in your front arc, which is your front 60 degrees, um, and within short or medium range. So short is you count uh, up to four squares or four hexes to it, uh, and medium is you count up to seven squares or hexes to it. I can keep saying squares. This is terrible. <laughs> you get a, an extra round of shooting during tailing fire. So before everybody chooses to move, um, you would get to actually just fire your guns again for free. So tailing is great, and during the end phase, if anyone is tailing, you put a tailing marker on them to mark that they're going to be doing tailing fire during the next turn. So because none of us have that, Going right to movement. That's gonna start with you. So pick a plane. This guy's gonna go. He did a one. Which is so a one is a flight. level flight. So you have to move at least one square straight ahead. Then you can pivot to any of these facings and then do the remainder of your move. Now before you do that, you apply your throttle. So do you want to throttle up or throttle down? Throttling down to six. Okay. And then he's gonna move his six forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he can end facing in one of these front three. That's right. Um, but he's actually gonna change his altitude down to two and gain an extra speed due to that, throttling up because he's diving, and he's gonna end facing forward like that. Okay, just going straight ahead. And then we're gonna activate this little Marauder, because this guy has shown his hand, and he is doing a turn, sorry, a swoop rather, which is number two. So before he does any movement, he is going to pivot. He is going to throttle up to three. Uh, with his throttle of one. And he has to move at least one forward before he does a turn. He's going to move one, two, three. And then he is going to pivot to face left or right. He's going to go like this. You need to track whose moves just to take their activation marker off them when they're done. So it's back over to you. Cool. This little guy is going to go. He's doing a one. Just so he's doing a flight. Level flight again, yep. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, he is going to reduce his throttle by one. He could go by two if he wanted, but he's not going to do that. And he's going to go one, two, three, turn with his level flight, four, five, six, seven, and be hanging out over there. Okay. Uh, lose altitude. Going down to two. Okay. So when you lose altitude at the end of your move, you have to gain a speed. So you're going to speed up to eight. So I'm doing much the same thing over here. Uh, Mr. The um, Marauder is doing it too. He's going to throttle up to three. And he's going to, because he did a swoop, he can make a turn at the beginning. He'll turn to here. And he's going to go one. Actually, he's not going to turn to there. He's going to turn to here and go one, two. One. Yeah, one. Then he's going to turn to here and then go two, three. Back to you. This is what guy's going to go. He's doing a level flight as well. He's currently speed eight yep. and altitude three. Gonna reduce to seven. Do much the same as his friend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna jump on us, it looks like. And he'll reduce down to two and increase up to eight. Up to eight, yeah. We're gonna show off that we can turn fast with Thunderbolts. Uh, so he's gonna move. He's currently at speed four, altitude three. He's gonna gain a speed up to five, actually six. 
Yeah, five actually. Let's just go five. Uh, because he's doing a stall. Uh, stall turn, he's gonna move straight ahead. One, two, three, four, five. And then he can turn to face backwards. He's gonna turn to face like that. And he's gonna lose an altitude, go to six, and he's done. Now when you change altitude, it's at the end of your move, so even though my speed went up and your speed went up, we don't gain the, initi the additional movement during that part of the turn. So you've got two planes left. You got a fighter bomber and a Daka jet. Number one. Makes sense. He is going to stay at eight. He'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But Everyone's he's actually gonna stay at three. Everyone's jumping on the one marauder. Well, we're gonna do much the same thing here. We are going to pivot or increase speed up to five. And we are also doing a stall turn. So we're going to go straight ahead. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna pivot back like this. Then gain, lose, sorry, lose an altitude rather, and gain a uh, speed, yeah, up to six. It's big jet. Love a flight. What do you wanna do, big guy? Do you wanna slow down? Do you wanna join the, the, the fun over here? The fray, as you jump on my Marauder. I mean, you might as well. You're gonna throw 30 dice at me. It's I'm, gonna be obnoxious. I'm gonna throw some dice, yes. Yeah. Uh, so he's gonna go six. One, two, three, four, five. He's gonna turn like this and go to six. Okay. Into here, going down to two, and then back up to seven. And we can all just be friends together in this corner. <laughs> now he has to do a maneuver next turn that allows him to turn before he moves, otherwise he's gonna, he's gonna go off the table. Now if you involuntarily disengage, uh, it's bad. First plane. I need two more dice. You need two more dice, right? You have 10 dice. <laughs> so which plane's firing first? Uh, we're gonna go with this little guy who's leading the charge. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna try and take down that big fella in this one. Okay, this so one let's, let's do some stat stuff here. So um, well, you are a DACA jet, yeah. and you have quad big shooters. So it's front arc, which means, like I said, front front 60 degrees. Um, you have eight dice, but because you're using the custom big shooters, you have 10. Yep. Uh, damage of five plus, unlimited ammo. So you can fire this gun as many times as you want during the game. Uh, to stay within four to be in good range. That's right. So so short range is four, which means you use your first dice stat. Uh, yep. Medium range is five to seven, and then eight, nine, ten is long range. Now, you always hit people on the same altitude as you on a five plus. You're minus one to hit for each difference in altitude, and minus one to hit if the target is spinning, because obviously they're like wicked out of control. So... Yep. Well, we'll you, start with that. Let's start with the back guy. Okay, cool. And he'll start shooting here. Nothing blocks line of sight, and you don't have to worry about moving through models. And you get one. One hit. I'm into it. Nothing. And doesn't make his damage roll. So first you roll a hit, he got one five, he's making his damage roll. The damage for the quad big shoes is a five plus and he didn't make it. So Mr. Marauder lives to fight another day. I'm gonna put marks on these guys when I shoot them. That's fair. Uh, so now I get to shoot back and I'm going to shoot his Marauder because he wants to shoot before he dies. <laughs> and he's actually gonna put his guns, oh geez, what do we wanna do here? Now you're really close and my guns aren't great when we're close. I'm good at shooting directly behind me with my tail gunner plus my um, dorsal gun but I can't actually shoot at close range with my last cannons. So really all I have right now is my dorsal gun because you're outside the rear arc for the rear gun. Um, I'm gonna just, I think, plug the one that hasn't shot. Short range for my quad, or sorry, for my dorsal heavy bolters is going to be dorsal turret all around and up, which, so up means I can't shoot below me. I can shoot same level as me and above me if I have the up tag. Uh, and at close range within four hexes is gonna be three dice. So three dice on fives because we're on the same level. Nothing. And he's fired. Back to you. Change my plan, actually. This guy's gonna shoot this guy. Oh, for God's sakes. All right, here we go. Let's go. Ten dice. Ten, Ten dice. dice. See this guy. So two, three hits. Hit a little bit. He knew what was up. And... Doesn't damage. One damage. Okay, so now I have my armored cockpit, which gives me a six plus shrug. I don't make it. So I take a damage. There's a put a bullet hole in that guy. He has three structure. And that means he can take three hits before he is taken out and destroyed. Well, I guess we return the favor. Now again, I'm not in optimal range with any of my guns right now. I also can't fire my, uh, <laughs> I can't fire my, um, my twin last cannons either, because uh, they have zero dice at short range. So I have three dice with my Avenger Bolt cannon. I guess we'll shoot the one that hasn't fired yet. I'm at altitude two, you're at altitude two. So three dice on fives. There's a hit. Now it does do a four plus um, to damage. It has the extra damage six plus rule. So if I roll six, I do two points of damage instead of one. Nope, doesn't damage back. Within four in his front. You got it, yeah. So front 60, so one, two, three, four. 10 dice again. Three one, two, hits. three. Oof. And then two of these and we kill you. And you get two. two. All right, I need to roll one six with my armored cockpit or I am dead. 
Give me a six. Yeah, we live with one. So this flips to two. Back to me. All right, well, everyone's fired here. I'm a bit worried about him and him because they both have dorsal uh, guns, just like my bombers do. And, so they, and they could they could finish me off. That's right. And my the rear guns are in range with this guy. So we're gonna pick on him, I think. Let's go with the Marauder. Now he has a LAS cannon. He's within one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he could shoot him with one die. He's within one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. He could shoot him with two dice. I'm tempted to shoot with two dice. I think we're gonna go for this guy, cause he, and he's on three, isn't he? I yeah. think he's the same range though. One, two, three, he's four, five, though. six, seven. Yeah, this yeah, I'll like hit him on sixes. Thankfully he should have didn't do anything. He should have been hitting on sixes, that's right, yeah. Well, I guess we'll try and plug him. I'm gonna have to hit him on sixes though. So the last cannons. We're both on threes. Oh, that's right, it didn't go down. That's right, I, I, I stayed on. Yeah. No, I'm on two. Oh. I'm on two. Okay, never mind. So one, two, hit three, four, six. five, six, seven. That's right, hitting him on sixes. And, I miss. Right. Uh, and then the um, heavy bolter, also on fives. For sixes, right? I'm to you. You've got either of these. Well, this guy's gonna go. He's gonna shoot his side guns into this fella. Makes sense. Three shots. For fives. fives. Gets One. it. No, no, it doesn't do any damage. Well, it's gonna be Mr. Thunderbolt. Uh, he is within one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, which is out of range for my Avenger Bolt cannon, but I get a last cannon shot, so I'm gonna try it. So and it hits on a six up. I'm on yet yeah, on sixes. So I'm on two, and you're on three. So everybody I got who's fired. Last fella. He's gonna use his tail gun into him, and then his side guns into that big fella. Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, because you can split between arcs. Tail gun. No nope. misses. And then side. Two hits. No damage. Nothing. All right. So the firing phase is done. Now we can take all these off. And we're into the end phase. Now is anyone tailing? So I am one, two, three, four in your rear arc. Mm -hmm. uh, and you are, and I'm in, you're in my front arc. So I'm currently tailing him. This guy's tailing. I'm not in medium range though, so oh, I can't count true. tailing here. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. But he's won yet because no one's down to 25% or less of planes. So we're into round two. We'll place out our ace maneuvers and then it's time for initiative. All right, all of our ace maneuvers are placed. So let's see who's going first. I got six. One. All right. Uh, so first things first is tailing fire. I'm going to try and plug this guy again. Shots to the Avenger Bolt Cannon. Hitting on fives? fives. Fives, yeah. Same level. Hit once, and then a four plus the damage. Six is extra damage. Nope, but one damage. The fighter bombers have three each, uh, and then I won the initiative to see who moves first. Gonna go easy. Uh, so is gonna go. He's doing a one, which is level flight. So he's gonna move, and he's gonna throttle back to two. Whoop. He's just gonna move one, make a turn. Nah. One, two, make a turn. This guy? He's doing a, uh, a swoop. Yep. Because he wants to live. Turn, turn and knock off the board. So he's going to stay at the same speed. Okay. And then he goes his one. Uh, he'll turn again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he's made his second turn from his swoop, so he has to maintain his facing. All right, well, let's go with Mr. Avenger. Uh, he's just going to throttle back uh, two to four. He's going to pivot one, and he's doing a swoop. Go one, pivot again, two, three, four. And be done. Back again. Doing a swoop as well. Six. He's going to reduce his speed by one to six. And he's doing a swoop, so he's going to do his normal turn. One, two, three, four. Turn again, five, six, and be right in your nose. All right, well, let's do Mr. Marauder here. Uh, he's doing a one. He's going to throttle up to four. So he's going to move straight ahead, one, two, three, four. Now, when you end on a plane, you move again the shortest possible distance to clear that plane, and he's done. Turn the end of this. I think I will, actually. I'm just going to turn like that. Moving with that dagger jet, going on fives. He's going to whip around. He also is going to reduce his speed by one. Makes sense. He doesn't just fly off the board <laughs> or fly fly back to exactly where he is. He wants to change speed, uh, elevation, actually. Oh, I gotcha. He's on three right now, isn't he? Mm -hmm. So he's going down to five. Seven, uh, sorry. Seven, yeah. And then where does he want to end up? Because he can go in a lot so of different five directions. is a stall turn. He has to move ahead at least one. Yeah. And then Which he makes his... Does he get a free one? Or does he have no, to... No, no, no. It's only if you end your move completely on top I that see. you pop it. He's got to go two. And then he can face any of these three. So he could walk that way, he could come back, he mm -hmm. can go that way. I think we're going to just come right back to where we are. So you just go straight out and then yo-yo back? Yeah. 
And he's basically going to go one, two, three, uh, four, turn around, one, Five, two, two, three, three and then pop through. Back. Yeah, because and then he'll reduce down to elevation two. And that's going to increase his speed up to six again. Back to eight. Eight, sorry. Yeah. And you're in the sweet spot on my bomber right now because you're not in my rear arc. I can only shoot with the dorsal gun. We're making up my last plane here. Uh, he'll reveal to also be doing a five, which is a stall turn. Um, so he's going to go straight ahead. And he has to go six. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then he'll turn around. And he can face any of these three. He'll face this way again, I think. Guys up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, he wants to slow down. He's gonna go down to six. Throttle down to six. Because he can. And then he's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's where he wants to be. One, two, three. Turn to face backwards. Four, five, six. And he did a five? I did a five, yeah. Yeah, it's directly backwards. Well, it's any of the three. Oh, any three, three, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. You're just headed back in the same yeah. direction. There we go. Same over here. He's literally just going to do this, though. <laughs> he goes four, turns around, flies Comes back, back four. four. Yep. All right, well, I get to shoot first, and we're going to pick this little fella, and he's going to try and blitz him. So I'm within one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means I'm in optimum range for my Avenger Bolt Cannon, which gives me seven dice. We're both altitude two, so I'm hitting you on fives. Uh, there is four of them. And then I damage on four plus, and a six is extra damage one. So if I get any sixes, you're just dead, because you only have two hits. Uh, okay, so I do six hits. He's just obliterated. So my last can of shots are wasted. The thing is we didn't mention it, you get one shot per arc. Uh, sorry, one target per arc. So you can target one plane in each arc. He only has front arc guns, so that was, uh, that was all the shooting. With him? Yeah, he's going to front guns into this fella, mm -hmm. rear gun into that guy. Makes sense. And then side gun into him. Okay. Because that's what he has. Ten shots into this fella. Big, big shooting, no whammy. Fives, one, two, three. It's enough to kill him. Fives again. Nothing. Okay. And then one dice into each of the other guys. <laughs> okay, tail gun. To the back. It's enough. Nope. nope. To the side. Nope. nope. All right, let's do him. He is going to shoot all of his guns into this guy, who is one, two, three, four, five away. So I get seven dice again. With altitude two, so hitting on fives. Oh, we didn't get any. And then the last cannon, which gets two dice on fives, hits you. And then two plus the damage, but again, extra damage six plus. So if I roll a six here, he's just out of the sky. Nope. Shot you right through the, the, the empty part of the propeller. And that's him. He's done. Ten more shots from him. Man, I am not, not able to hit. Does damage, though. Okay. Uh, that is not armored cockpit, so he's just going to take a damage. He has four left. Let's go over here. Uh, this Marauder is going to put all of his... I don't know this, this. Actually, this guy over here. He's going to do his turret gun into the plane that has not fired yet, in case we get lucky. And then his rear gun into, I think, this guy. Rear gun's within one, two, three... Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. So I get two dice. Hit on fives. Go same, same altitude. Nope. And I'm going to get three dice on the one that hasn't fired yet with the sweet, sweet turret. Okay, and then fives to damage. We do fives. Nothing. Got me ten more shots. There yeah, you go. Four. Another damage. More. Goes to two. He's got three left. Just him left. Uh, we're going to do our turret gun. I think into this fella. Mm -hmm. uh, he's within one, two, three, four, five. So you have two dice, and then the last can's over here. So within one, two, three, four, five. So the last can's are at medium range. Two dice on fives. Nope. And then two dice into him from the uh, turrets. Turrets on fives. Not on one, little fella. He's just got his side guns. Into this fella. Makes sense. To try and kill him. One. Hit. One. Whoa. Whoa. Six plus. Shoot. Nah, we're dead. So we crash. I'm playing down. Two to go. So we're on around three now. Does anyone have tailing fire? I don't think so. Because uh, no. you're not in my rear arc. And I think that's it. All right, all our ace maneuvers are out. Round three, start. Let's see who's going first. Is me. Tailing fire to resolve this time, so we're going straight to maneuvers. And I think we're just going to go with this fella. He is doing a turn, or sorry, swoop rather. Uh, he's currently at speed four. He's just going to turn. 
to his one, two, three, four. Just stay there. These guys are going way too fast. Either they're going to overshoot me or not come back if he's done more snap turns going five. Mm -hmm. I, I, I suspect he was going to try and wing over me again. That's what he's going to go. Yeah. Two. Two. He's doing a swoop. So you can make a turn first. Yep. And he's still going seven. Yep. So he's going to go one. I'm not going to throttle at all. One, two, three. Turn again. Four, five, six, seven. And end up in your rear. Okay. All right. Well, let's look at you. You're doing a three, which is a turn, uh, which means we will start off with a turn going like so. He is currently at two, two. So he's going to go one, two, and then turn again like that to face the rear. Uh, that's too, that's not right. I'm not going the right speeds. <laughs> Whoops. Going with this beat up uh, fighter bomber. He's doing a snap turn. Okay. He's speed six right now. So he has to turn at the beginning. At the beginning. And he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Then he turns around and goes Place six. Okay. And you just fly by each other? Yeah. You know, do the international relations thing where you give each other the bird. All right. Well, uh, let's do Mr. This Guy, which is a four. It's a snap as well. Um, so he is currently at speed four. He's going to throttle up to six. And then he's going to go out. So he has to turn at the beginning. Yep. Going to turn. And go one, two, three, four, five. Turn go all the way back. Down. And then six. Well, I knew this guy's right. Six. Turn around. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. That's where we want to be. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn to this way. Seven, eight. One. Yeah. And same thing. I'll just end up facing like that. Okay. Oh, okay, well, movement is resolved. Shooting, I get to go shoot first. I think we're going to shoot over here. With who? With Mr. Marauder. And he's going to try and take out this guy. With the uh, tail gun and the uh, big gun into him. So the first one on fives. Nothing. Second one on fives. Two hits. And then fives to damage. This could be the end. This could be the end. He only has two hits. I got one. Oh, the guy's going to go before he gets killed. Yep. So he's just going to 10 dice this fella in the back. Makes sense. Hit him. There you go. Four. Not to kill him, but it's going to make an owie. Two damage. Oof. Okay. And he's got three left. Well, let's go here then. Uh, ah, you know what? No, we're going to go with him. And he's going to try and evaporate this guy. With, nope. Who has got the big guns? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six to either of them. Everybody's over five. Uh, I'm not. I'm no longer like satisfied with my ability to just kill somebody here. He hasn't fired yet, though, has he? Correct. We're gonna shoot him. Try to finish him off. So seven shots from the Avenger Bolt Cannon. Hit on fives. Come on, buddy. There's one, two, three, and then damaging on fours. Six is a double damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, two damage. Kills Takes him out this guy. This guy's the one without the custom big shooter. He'll shoot him with his. Um front gun makes and sense his side and rear are going to shoot this guy absolutely so he's only eight shots to the front he is inferior <laughs> fives he knows what to oh do oh my though. god but he's very good at shooting it we didn't bring the custom big shooter but we were very very good at shooting it one two, two? Got yeah, left. One. you almost killed me and then collectively four dice i think they all have the same stats actually yeah it's fives are, and fives oh no the tail gun is on a six Oof, okay roll that one separately tail gun side side gun side gun one hit, one hit five plus Nope. nope. Tail gun. Misses. Well, let's go after you again. Uh, so we're going to do this fella. He's yeah. going to do his um, dorsal turret into him, try and finish him off, and then we'll do the rear gun into him. Dorsal turret into that Daka jet on fives. Same altitude. Not a one. And then into the Marauder Bomber, or sorry, the Fighter Bomber. There's two. And on fives again, heavy vultures. Two more. Yeah. Woof, down to one. I think I'm now dead. <laughs> this survivor's going to kill me. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. four. You won five plus. Five plus on four dice. He you got it. Once. Just the got him there. All right, looks like turn. Everybody's fired. Uh, neither of us is down to 25% or less planes. We're on to round four. We got a tailing here. We got a tailing there, I think. And, and a tailing here. here. Yep. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm still within well, medium. And so am I. Ace maneuvers are down. So this is really important because the initial roll now is going to determine who tailing fires first. And we all really want to do it. So let's see who's going first. Two. Is me. Change a lot because I have to shoot the guy I'm tailing, but uh, I do want to shoot him. 
So we get seven shots, because we're outside of four, and inside of five, six, seven. Your bull cannon, that fighter bomber. Uh, there's two. two, and then it's, you have two hits on you right now, so you know four plus to kill. Yep. And, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Nope. And then the last cannon. <laughs> Misses. Somehow still alive. Well, we're gonna try now. He's still <laughs> yep. in good range, so yes. 10 more Daka gun. Four hits. Oh god. That's all he needs. Three damage and takes you down. Just dead. <laughs> just kills him. The tailing's gone. Uh, and we are now into the maneuver phase. I have to go first. It's not what I want, because I don't want to go first, but I'm doing a four. Uh, and that means I'm snap doing turn. a snap turn. So I'm going to pivot. I'm still going speed six. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can pivot again. Yeah, like the 180. That's right. Do all the way back around. And snap turn there. But I'm going eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I'm on my disengage for next turn anyway. And then I'm just going again. He's a two, which is a, I get to be wherever I need to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he ends turning like that. Yep. This is the end of Zombie Shakespeare. And then this guy is also a snap turn. Oh, God. He's going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then spin around. Six. Eight. Seven. He'll go one less. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. All right, well, I shoot first. Hey, guess what? I'm uh, I'm not able to fire. Let's get him more, boys. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you get 20 shots to try and do this. 24. Yeah, there This you go. guy. One, two, three. On fives. Two. Shrugs. Cockpit does nothing, I take two. Well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last ones. Second one. One, two, three, four. Five. Nothing. Uh oh. And then four last shots. Four from shots, this guy. yep, from this your dorsal. Range. You get your dorsal on top of it, too. Oh, is it rear only for the dorsal? Dorsal side and rear. Oh, gotcha, got you. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not in front, doesn't yeah. need front, got it. Front. Gets it. Nope. nope. I live, but this is my disengagement turn. Now uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> and you're also telling me. Yeah. Actually, he's not telling me. He's not my rear arc. That's okay. These so two are. Th but those two, you are. N oh, you are my rear arc. Yep, you got it for those two. Five initiative. I got a five. Yep. All right, go ahead and tell me. Ten more shots in the back. Twenty more shots. No, wait, sorry. Fourteen, 14. more shots, yeah. For the first ten from the uh, Daka, Daka Jet. One, I think this is probably going to do it. And so two more, six two more six pluses. There you go. <laughs> He's gone. And I'd say the Imperials, you're gonna score 100 VPs. They're all dead. I'm gonna score 20, uh, 23 plus and 20 19. and 19. That's right. So 42 uh, damaged for half, which He's means 19. 10, and damaged for half, which means because he doesn't have. That's right. He doesn't have the shooters yet. 20. Plus 42, 62. 62. So 62 to 100, not too bad. Uh, actually, let's see if my ejector seats worked. They did not. That's <laughs> so a 62 to 100 at the end for the orcs. So there you go, our first look at Aeronautic Imperialis. DNA wise, very similar to the previous edition, with most of the modifications being to play it on a hex board. Now, what does this mean in game terms? It does mean that you don't have to guess ranges anymore uh, and eyeball distances. You can always do the math in your head to be precisely where you want to be at any given time. And as long as you're able to kind of like encompass the maneuvering in your brain and then the ranges and count squares or hexes rather, you're always going to be exactly where you want for your guns. Um, the, the, the sort of like core gameplay mechanics of rolling to hit with your fire, having short, medium, and long ranges for all of your different guns, the firepower, the damage, the structure, pretty much identical to last edition. So if you've played the previous edition of, of Aeronautica, and I'm actually going to link the Let's Play for the old edition up here in the, um, the cards, uh, you're not, you're, you're not going to take very long to pick this game up. Now, there is a lot more, I think, to this game than is just in this box set. There are ground sort of target rules with more missions. Um, there are, if you look at the pictures of the cards in the book, slots for things like specialty pilots, special upgrades, and all those cards that you can buy and download, and, or sorry, pre-order right now on the, um, the Games Workshop website seem to add additional content to the game. So this is a very simple core box set of just the core rules for the game, a three by three mats, and a starter force basically for two armies. It did feel like 100 points was just about the right amount for the maximum 
the maximum size of this table. I don't think I'd play with more plans because it get really crowded. Um, and there is talk of more areas of engagement coming out in the future. It's mentioned in the book and also on the community page um, for 4x4 being kind of the standard mat size for this in the future. Um, but taking the measuring out, I, I like it in that it simplifies everything. It allows you to kind of visualize what was a very complicated game with like cards and stuff previously. But you do need to make sure you hang on to your accessories. If you lose those maneuver diagram pages, you are totally scuppered. So I would go out and laminate those. Make sure they stay in good condition because you won't know how to basically move your planes around otherwise. Um, and generally speaking, you're going to want to have to order all the ancillary stuff because we we were we did struggle a bit playing off our phones and handing the book back and forth. Uh, I think this game could, could feel a lot smoother if we just had the, the information in front of us basically. So I would recommend if you're going to order this, order the cards, order the upgrades and stuff just so you can have the, the data in front of you and it makes the gameplay experience probably a little bit smoother. I'm going to talk more about that in my GMG review of the actual like box set when I crack it open and you guys can see the the actual like contents up close and stuff too. Had a lot of fun painting it though. The scale's neat. I'm hoping the models get more maybe rules in the future with Titanicus. Who knows? This does add aviation possibilities to the game of Titan Combat. It's all on the same scale. You never know what they're going to release in the future. I've basically just given up saying no Hazer Shop will never do that. That's not a... <laughs> That's not a sentiment I, I say anymore. Um, so yeah, if you want a quick to play uh, map based kitchen table style airplane game, um, this is fast to learn, fast to play, and looks like it's gonna have a whole lot more stuff coming out for it. Um, I don't know that the box set has a ton of replay value, but there is at launch a whole bunch of extra stuff that goes into it. Um, I do think it needs a bigger map though. So we'll see uh, the GMG review in a couple days, probably on Friday. Uh, and of course, uh, you'll be able to see more of this in the channel in the future. Hopefully as more stuff comes out. So big thanks for watching. Thanks to all Ash. Happy programming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Desperate Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.